All right, hello, my name is Slim Forsyth, and we're here at Odyssey Day 2017. I work for Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto, and I'm part of the fleet acquisition team. And today, I'm just thrilled to be driving out here in the city of Pittsburgh's brand new electric vehicle, Ford Focus. We just purchased this last week along with a second Ford Focus, and we also have two Chevy Bolts on the way that should be delivered hopefully later this month. These will be the first four 100% electric battery cars that the city of Pittsburgh has ever purchased. We have eight or nine hybrids in the fleet at the moment, but these four brand new EVs are coming online right now and we have the EV charging infrastructure in place to service them. So we're just thrilled to be part of all the good news out here and uh, we really love our new Ford Focus. The only other thing that I'd like to say is that we have a plan to convert most of the smaller sedans in our fleet, which are now conventional gas engines, to EVs over the course of the next five to eight years. And we are also pursuing a Drive on Sunshine initiative through which we're going to have mobile, solar-powered, electric vehicle charging units in place at various places throughout the city so that we won't be plugging into a coal-fired grid to charge our electric cars. We'll be charging them on 100% renewable sunshine. That's the dream and we're making it happen with these initial small steps. Hi, I'm Dave Milnick. I'm with ICOM North America. We manufacture and sell propane auto gas conversion systems for fleet vehicles, any vehicle 2009 and newer on the Ford market and 2010 and newer on the Chevy market. Uh, this vehicle that I'm with right now, this is a 2014 Ford Explorer police interceptor uh, running on a propane bifuel system. Vehicle starts on gasoline, within 40 seconds of startup, converts over and runs on 100% propane. My name is Doug Smith and I'm the Transportation Planning Director for the Southwestern Pennsylvania Commission. Uh, we're the 10 county regional planning agency. Uh, we work with county planning departments, the city of Pittsburgh, PennDOT on a lot of different transportation projects uh, and all the federal and state funding for highways, bridges, transit flows through our metropolitan planning organization. So um, I'm on the board of Pittsburgh Region Clean Cities and uh, today's event is to just uh, educate folks on alternative fuel vehicles, uh, CNG, LNG, electric, uh, hybrid, all the different types of vehicles that are available and on the emerging te technologies that are, uh, surround those. We're going to be uh, driving EVs so we'll have cleaner air, we'll have lower maintenance costs and of course fuel costs will uh, decrease and uh, so those are just sort of the immediate benefits but I mean ultimately it's all part of the mayor's 2030 climate action plan and other initiatives where we're trying to do something about uh, the changes in our world due to the use of fossil fuels and so uh, there's the big picture like that 100 percent fossil fuel free fleet by 2030 that's the big picture the overall vision and year by year we're taking these small steps and hopefully bigger and bigger steps each year to actually convert our gas and diesel powered fleet to electric vehicles wherever we can taking the low hanging fruit first like the small sedans that are used by inspectors and so forth in our fleet now uh, but ultimately waiting until a commercially available garbage truck comes online. That's not this year, but it could be sometime in the next 10 years and so forth. So doing what we can now and being smart about seeing what the options are for the longer future. Nice. This event helps ICOM by putting us in front of the various fleet managers within the city of Pittsburgh, having students come out and take a look at seeing exactly what ICOM does because the, or the technician market is one of the hardest markets to actually find good technicians in order to do it and to have schools like Community College of Allegheny teach technicians on alternative fuels. That means when they go into the market, they actually have an understanding of what's out there in the technology today. It's not just gasoline and diesel anymore. It's electric. It's 
propane, it's compressed natural gas, it's liquefied natural gas. All those fuels and everything is basically coming or here now. So technicians need to understand what they're seeing every day when they're out there working on vehicles. Well, one of the objectives uh, in the region is to improve air quality, to cut down on vehicle miles travel, you know, to improve the environment and make mobility easier, accessibility easier for people. So um, these technologies obviously improve, improve the air quality, cut down on emissions, uh, which is a good thing because transportation is a pretty big component of uh, the emissions in the region. So anything we can do to reduce uh, that is, is a positive.